Tom Owen Evans. Um, what did you make of that game overall today? Um, I think um, we've killed ourselves in the first half really because um, we didn't at half time we didn't deserve to be winning even though uh, we got ourselves into a position where we were one 0 up. Um, in that position, we didn't really do what we should have done and be a bit more streetwise and sort of um, regroup and go from there. Um, we give away too many silly free kicks and um, they scored from two set pieces. They didn't really create a lot of chances, but um, we've conceded from two set pieces and obviously we found ourselves 2-1 down at half time. Why do you think that is? I'm not sure. We just didn't really come out the traps. We were sloppy. I think maybe first couple of minutes we, were, we, we we started sloppy and then from it's just sort of throughout the team it's just sort of stayed there I guess so um, can't really put my finger on it but um, like I said we give away two sloppy set pieces and then second half we've had a go and dominated the game um, but we, we couldn't get the win unfortunately. As you change the system you, you obviously then went more 4-3-3 in the second half and that seemed to reap dividends. Yeah um, so obviously I, I was playing uh, wide first half but then I sort of moved uh, central in a number 10 role like, uh, just off Simo which is where I prefer to play and um, I think we dominated the game and they weren't really in it. They were sort of deep and dropping off and we had a lot of the ball, but um, unfortunately we, we couldn't we couldn't get the third goal and win the game. What was the penalty given for? Um, so the ball was, the ball was uh, their defender sort of headed it and I'm chasing the second ball, the, the loose ball, and I've been pulled back by uh, another one of their players as I'm sort of running onto the, onto the ball. So um, I've gone down and the ref's seen it and spotted it and given the pen. Did you feel any pressure coming into taking that penalty, knowing what was riding on it? Um, not really. I, f I felt confident that I was going to score. Um, obviously, I scored against Billericay in the cup, and um, yeah, you don't uh, you don't really think about things like that. I just knew that I had to put the ball in the back of the net, and thankfully, I'd done that. Two tough games away from home coming up now: Guysley and then Blythe Spartans. Um, any injuries or anything like that that you're aware of? Uh, not from today. I don't think. I think um, I think everyone's fine from from today. So. Um, you know, it's it's going to be a tough two games. We know that every every game in this league is tough, and it's it's a weird division because everyone can beat everyone. And there's like I said, we come here today saying none in the bottom of the league, but it's not going to be an easy game. So, um, guys, are one place above us, um, and and I know we should have won today, but uh, the point has taken us another point further than the from the relegation. So, it makes it an even bigger game on Tuesday now. And um, you know, away from home. It, We'll see what happens. Two big games, Geisley and Blythe Spartans, and hopefully we can get as many points as we can from that and get climb further up the table. How close do you think this division really is? It doesn't seem to be too much between the likes of you know Chester at the top and and, and Geisley towards the bottom. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, it's 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 a weird division where teams um, on their day can anyone can beat anyone. Like you've seen over Christmas, we had we had Kidderminster at home and and um, Chester at home. We beat both of them. We drew with Chorley. Um, we we played Black Bradford away at the top of the time and we were the better team, deserved something from that. So, and then obviously we're drawing with Nuneaton at home. It's sort of it's it's a weird division where anyone can pick up points against anyone and everyone knows that. How much more is there to come? Because it looks to be players coming back from injury. There seems to be more competition for places. So, I would have thought you've really got to put put a shift in now to keep your shirt. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, um, Elliot's back from injury now and Keon's back as well, which is which is a great lift for everyone. And um, obviously with players like Lloydie coming back on loan, um, everyone knows that, uh, that the shirt isn't safe, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, we've got, to, we've got to just keep plugging along and, and um, we knew first half today we weren't good enough but we knew that we could only get back from, better from there and um, we've got to do that and make sure that that first half performance doesn't happen again. Thanks for your time. No problem.